Hey guys, this is Mitch. I'd like to make a video about uh, PC power supplies and using them to power your charger for RC. Now there are a lot of other videos about uh, modding a power supply for like lab purposes and things that are really comprehensive, but they're not really aimed at RC guys. And there, then there's the the RC ones that are great, but they miss a couple. Of I miss a couple things that uh, the lab power supply guys uh, show so I want to kind of uh, show you what I gleaned from both of them and uh, what I did so I'd like to fill in the blanks for the RC guys <clears throat> now Dave Herbert made a great video he started me, me on this um, there were just a couple things uh, the one thing that uh, uh, if you haven't seen his video go see it and it's great but um, <clears throat> the thing is that he used only one wire uh, or one section. He used one uh, section of the, the Molex chain to power his charger. So he only used uh, one yellow for the 12 volt and two for the ground. And that's when you have a, a high charge rate um, setting on your charger, that's going to be pulling a considerable amount of current through this small wire. So what you do want to do. Well, I did it. I, I kept one chain intact just in case I want to attach uh, a component that still uses uh, Molex. This is an old hard drive cooler. Uh, it works perfectly for cooling this off. I put it right under here. And uh, see the rubber feet? They they uh, keep it from blocking. Also under here, the, the air flows and it keeps it really cool. This little fan is okay, but it still gets very hot uh, under some circumstances, like discharging. <clears throat> but uh, that's that's that. So what you want to do is you want to uh, combine the wires um, to get the the amps. You want, I mean, uh, to safely get the amps is what I mean. Um, this is a 200 watt, uh, 10 amp across 12 volts. Power supply I got from an old Dell computer, and uh, it did not have a switch. So I took the green and uh, one black wire and soldered them to a two uh, two position switch right here. In fact, this is a switch from my old Wild Hawk. I'm still taking parts from that old plane, and this is one of them. So I did a uh, Dave Herbert's method, or any type of method you would do with a two position switch. Um, solder up in the, the middle tab and one on the outside. And there you go, it works. <clears throat> this is kind of different where um, this one does not require a load to turn on. So uh, that's the thing you might want to check with your charger. No, it's not plugged in. Or, I mean, rather, power supply. Uh, if it doesn't turn on, you want to sure you have a load on it before you turn it on. Uh, another thing, uh, a couple wires you won't need are the purple, the gray, the blue is negative 12 volts, and the white is, I think, negative 5 or negative 3.3, I'm not sure. Mine didn't have a white, a white one in here, uh, but whatever. You know, I don't need it, because I'm just doing it. See. Now, I kept the orange and red, uh, just because I kind of didn't want to just wrap them up in there. I mean, there's potential for, you know, possibility down the line I may need that 5 or 3.3 volts. And I made this little housing uh, foam core in hot glue. And it works great, just to keep the contacts away from each other. Kind of cool. <clears throat> so basically, that's about it. Um, that you want to uh, combine the cables. That's a big question that I saw on the, the comments. Was that okay? Um, well, what about the other cables? Can I combine them to get more amps, or is it just amped? You know, the amps across the. Uh, am I getting the, the full amps across one wire? So you know, the answer is. Combine them all if you want the full amperage. Um, my charger is a 5 amp charger, so I won't even be using the full 10 amps. 
uh, so that's fine only having one so I mean this is this is pretty slick I like this um, it's working out for me so well I guess that's the end of that I have more videos coming up soon uh, I might uh, talk about this charger in a future video I just got it so I don't have much to say about it other than uh, it works and uh, I'm not sure about the accuracy yet because I haven't <laughs> I haven't uh, had it long enough for it to balance uh, fully <clears throat> any of my packs, so I'll do that. Okay. Alright, you guys have a nice day. Later.